Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to choose the correct resistor value for your LED on an Arduino. So the first step that we have to do is figure out what the voltage drop is over your LED. My LED was unmarked when it came out of the box, so we need to find some way of measuring this. The easiest way is you stick it in your breadboard just so it stays still. And then you use a voltmeter to determine the proper the um, voltage drop over the LED. So on your voltmeter, you have multiple settings. This one here is the diode setting with the little diode symbol. Okay, and what this will do is it applies a little bit of current through the uh, sensor the to the prongs on the sensor and it will light up the LED and tell you how much voltage was voltage drop over the LED now what's important is to make sure you put the right prong on the right end of the LED so I'm going to zoom in here and just show more, like what the difference is between the LED prongs okay so on your LED you'll notice you have a short end and a long end the short end is the negative side. In case your LED has been cut or anything, uh, and the ends aren't long and short, uh, the side of the LED will be flattened. When you look at it um, facing down, you see the bottom's flattened, or the bottom's flattened there, right along this side here. So that's flat. This also tells you which end is the negative end. So we'll just put it into the breadboard and my negative end is on the left so black is negative, red is positive we touch the prongs and notice that it turns on okay while it's on you should look at your voltmeter display and you will see the voltage drop over the LED. So 1.785 volts. Write down that number or remember it because it will be used later in the calculations. So now that we know the voltage drop over the LED, we can calculate what resistor value we need. So to start off, let's draw a sketch of our circuit. So we have our Arduino pin that we're going to plug the LED into. It comes out, it goes through a resistor, turns a corner, not necessarily, but we can drop that way. Goes through the LED and goes to ground. So we know the voltage drop over this LED and that would be 1.7 uh, 1.785 volts and then we also know that our pin has 5 volts of power coming out of it and ground is by definition 0 volts. So the question is what is R? Well the, we know that Ohm's law is V equals I R and what this is saying is that voltage the voltage drop is proportional to the current through the component times the resistance of the current or the resistance of the component so we can't really use Ohm's law on the LED because of the way an LED is it doesn't follow Ohm's law 
but we can use it on this resistor. So the resistor, we first have to find out what the voltage drop is of the resistor. So we know that overall, over the whole current, or over the whole circuit, the voltage goes from 5 volts to 0 volts. 1.785 volts is lost over this portion of the circuit. So we must have lost 3.215 volts over the resistor because this number here plus this number here must equal 5 volts. You lose 5 volts over the whole circuit, you've lost this much here, this is the difference. So we know that 3.215 volts is equal to the current. Now what do we want the current to be? Well a typical LED will be able to survive current of up to about 15 to 25 milliamps. So we're going to go 15 milliamps just to be on the safe side. And we multiply this by the resistance. Rearranging, we have the resistance is equal to 3.215 volts over 15 times 10 to the negative 3 amps. And this is because a milliamp is a thousandth of an amp. So what we want is volts and amps as our units. We don't want volts and milliamps. We want volts and amps. That's the way that Ohm's law works. So when you plug that into your calculator, you get 214.3 ohms. Now, you're going to be hard pressed to find a 214.3 ohm resistor. So what you do after running this calculation is you round up to the next resistor value that you have. So I have a 330 ohm resistor is what I have. And since this is above the calculated minimum resistance value, we will use this as our resistor and our circuit that we built. So let's go over and see how the circuit works in real life. Okay, so in this part of the video we're going to put together our circuit. Very simple circuit. We just have the LED which you know keeps straight your positive and negative end. So this is the negative end over here, the positive end over here. So we plug that into our board and I'm putting the negative side up top and we want our resistor, this is a 330 ohm resistor as you can see by looking at the color code on it um, yeah it's orange orange then brown so it's 330 ohm okay so we want that and we're going to put it on the positive end. It doesn't really matter which end it goes on, but I'm just going to put it on the positive end of the circuit. So this is what's happening. We have our resistor negative up top. It okay. We plug that in. Then it comes out and through this resistor here. Or LED negative side is over here, positive sides on this side. So now what we want is to plug in our Arduino. So we take our red wire for positive, and I'm going to put this into I'll put it in port 12. So there, port 12 and we plug it into the positive end of our circuit and we want ground which is right here to be the negative on the negative side 
So this goes here and plugs into the negative side of the LED. So now we have that as our circuit. Okay, so I've loaded onto my Arduino a basic blinking program so we can see how the LED works with our circuit. And this just blinks on and off at half second intervals. So we can see that even though we're not running the LED with full current, maximum current going through it, it's still relatively bright. So, yeah. And that would be how you get your LED set up with your Arduino.